Welcome back. Now, she is a pioneering photographer who's trying to change the world through her art. Known only as Candace, she shoots all her subjects underwater. And now she's trying to capture as many celebrities as possible as part of a campaign to raise awareness for the charity Water Aid. And she's given her first television interview to More 4 News. Rags Martel has been to dip a toe in the water. Welcome to the unique world of Candice. Hollywood actresses and supermodels as you've never seen them before. Deep underwater, the results are breathtaking. It's a completely different world underwater. One, when you're actually underwater, um, you feel very different. Um, two, the lighting and the floating, it's almost like it would be to walk on the moon, I suppose. And then you've got all the amazing reflections you get in water and depending when exactly you, um, you press the shutter can really alter how the image looks. At least three weeks of planning go into every shoot. An army of makeup artists, hairdressers and scuba divers are all involved. The models also have to be prepared. Are you nervous at all? Not really, except for the fact that they're going to tie my feet down, which is, I think, psychologically quite nerve-wracking because, isn't it, you're at, you completely have no control. Once underwater, it's a race against time. Due to the physical demands of the shoot, it can only last for 20 minutes. Once strapped in, divers are on hand to give the models air. The worst thing about working underwater is probably the time factor sometimes when, when you're under pressure to get things done quickly and also the communication. Obviously you can't talk to anyone, you can't shout at anyone. Um, so it just all takes time, it's signalling, you need to allow for that. And the attention to detail is meticulous. Some of the hair has to be weighted, like um, Lily's got a point, like kind of plait and I put lead in the bottom to hold it down, otherwise it will just float straight up. A lot of the techniques you would normally use on hair won't work, so you have to kind of come up with new ways and basically you have to think of hairstyles that will work underwater. I was surprised myself actually because I thought that I wouldn't be able to last, I never, hardly ever hold my breath, I, I, know, I thought it would only last 10 seconds, but it's actually pretty easy. So they were counting you, they were doing more than a minute. Oh really? Really? That's cool. Candice plans to shoot at least 30 portraits. At the end of the project, the photographs will be auctioned to charity. It's rumoured Will Smith is next, but Candice refused to confirm this. So who's next? Ah, um, someone very big, I think, but I can't mention the name yet until it's signed by his lawyers. <laughs> but it's a chap next time. The photographer Candice ending that report by Rags Martel. Our main headline tonight.